General Gora, despite being a very tough general and commander, who is celebrated for his various accomplishments, was also a very humorous man. He was full of very good jokes, and many a time, in tense situations, he would make everybody feel comfortable. Many a time, as we waited at the airport, Your Excellency, to welcome you or to see you off, to foreign countries. The general would keep us busy with many good stories and keep us entertained. And I do remember one such day when you left and we were left there and we were in a hurry to leave as you took off. And he told me, Mr. Deputy President, it is good for me to inform you that when you are in a military facility, and the commander-in-chief is away. I am the senior most military officer here, and all of you take orders from me. And you only leave when I tell you so. And after we stayed for a while, he said, uh, you may now uh, take off. I give you fallout. And that was a tradition for the days we stayed with General Gola. We were there with Professor Kindeki, the leader of majority, and all these politicians who are not very accustomed to orders. But the general would organize us, and only when he felt that your plane has taken off safely into the skies, he would say, Deputy President and the rest of you, you may now fall out. That was General Ogola for you. I asked General Ogola for a meeting And I had a one-on-one, man-to-man, -man, come to Jesus meeting with General Ogola. And when we concluded that meeting, General Ogola told me the following. Mr. President, I have no defense. I will not try to defend myself. It was wrong what happened. And you have three choices. Either send me to court martial or have me retired or forgive me. That evening, went home after that meeting. And I reflected on what General Ogola had told me. And in that reflection, I thought of my own story and my own episode at the ICC in The Hague. Despite having God is good. Mwili pamoja na familia watakapo ondoka hapa uwanjani.
we have come on a very tragic occasion to say farewell to one of the most illustrious sons of this country. We are paying farewell to a four-star general who has died not in the field of combat, but through a tragic aircraft accident. General Gola, as has already been said by those who have spoken before, exemplified what you can call a true national nationalist. By his own conduct, he showed that he loved his country and he was prepared to serve and die on behalf of his country. We take comfort in listening to his son talk about him. And when I saw Joel talk there, I said, this is a case of the general is dead. Long live the general. I, however, have one regret. He will not be there for me to see the transformation he had planned for our military. He had an elaborate, very well laid out plan on the transformation of the military. And he had briefed me that beginning next month at the pass out parade, I would see and the country would see something different. I regret that he won't be there to see his plan come to fruition. I am, however, confident that the men and women he leaves behind, the commanders that he has trained, mentored, and assisted, will gather the courage and wherewithal to drive the plan General Okola had put in place. Alikuwa na mambo matatu kama wewe, not the same, but all his speeches were divided into three. Today I'll divide it into four because he was a foster general. Firstly, you've heard from Bishop Lele about his love for God. Uh, somewhere in that helicopter wreck is his Bible, which was his most precious possession. Anyone who worked with him in DHQ, MAB, LAB, wherever, can attest that he always had a Bible with him. And I am hoping they're able to retrieve it from the accident. I would want to keep it as a memento and for the rest of the family as well. His Bible meant a lot to him. And between me and him, the rest of the family, my mom and my wife were a bit slow, but we'd always engage in a competition for reading the Bible and discuss the mortality and all these things of life. He understood that his position was temporary and it would always end. Leading up to his death, he almost knew that his time was up. Despite having very many plans for the military and, and for his family. But he spoke in a certain tone that would suggest that, my son, uh, I won't always be here and you will need to take care of my wife and my other children, which I am more than ready to do and it will not be a problem. It has been an extraordinary privilege to work closely with him to benefit from his wisdom, experience, and insights, and to witness him in action, serving his nation with admirable commitment and providing excellent command leadership of the Kenya Defense Forces. As is tradition, every day, without a doubt, whether I am in country or out of the country,
it is necessary, it is the case that I have to get a report from CDF. And so it happened. Every day, either we talked physically, by phone, by WhatsApp, and I can confirm that General Ogola was the best that we could get.